Hey, how about we do a quick tip video today? All right, I'm doing a bunch of work on this uh, 99 Accord and I figured I'd bring you along for a quick tip on the air tubes. You can see this is the tube that comes off this car, sits in right like that. And just at a quick glance, everything looks fine. But this thing's hard as a rock and as you can see, it's split right down the middle. And when that's sitting down in there like that, you probably won't even be able to notice it. And that's definitely going to suck air in and uh, it's going to be dirty air. It's not, it's, you know, it's after the air filter. Now it is before the map sensor, so most likely uh, your car is going to run just fine. You wouldn't even notice anything, but you're going to be sitting in there sucking dirty air. The nice new one, nice and pliable and soft. You can see you can bend this around. This one, yeah, hard as a brick. And it's, if you mess with it, that's how these things break. You change the air filter or move it around or manipulate it or whatnot, and they split. So just something to be aware of. Keep an eye on these air tubes when these vehicles get older. Now, like I said, this vehicle had a MAP sensor, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. It's a pressure sensor that sits on the manifold, and it judges the amount of air coming in. And in this case, because this crack was before that, the engine computer would have seen it. However, in the case like this old Honda, if that's all it has, it doesn't have a mass airflow sensor, um, that can cause idle problems. When you're sitting there and idling and all of a sudden your idle goes up and then it drops back down, that's typically an indication of a vacuum leak because the engine computer, especially in those older Hondas, they didn't have a good strategy. So the engine, there's too much air coming in and, it, and the engine can't figure out why. So it's just dumping more fuel to get the proper air fuel ratio and so the idle rises until it gets too high and then the engine computer has a safety shut off. It'll cut the fuel injectors, the idle will come back down. As Soon as it gets normalized, turns the fuel injectors back on and, keeps, and then it'll do it again. And it'll go up and down, up and down. All caused usually by an air leak and it could just be simply from one of these intake tubes. Uh, if this vehicle did have a mass airflow sensor, it would have been somewhere right around here. Obviously it does the same thing, only it's not a pressure sensor, it just judges the amount of air that flows through there. That would have been before this leak, and so it would not have been able to see this leak. And this would have, sitting in, would have been sitting in the car like that, hard to detect from above, but the air would have just been sucked right in. Engine computer would have detected a lean condition because it would have uh, had not enough fuel and too much air. So it's going to most likely set a check engine light, P0171 or uh, possibly 174, depending on how many cylinders you got. So very important visual inspection on these things it can keep you out of trouble, keep your car running good. In any event, hey, video helped you out, you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.